Top Nods family, what is going on? So, in today's video, we are going to be discussing about the Houston Rockets. Reports coming out that they're looking to go all in and trade for a superstar player slash star player and also add some, you know, all-star role players to their roster. And players that are getting brought up are like Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butler, Brandon Ingram. For the role players, it's Marcus Smart and Brooke Lopez. So, we have a lot to discuss and if you enjoyed today's video, once again, drop a like, comment, subscribe. This is mainly a podcast, but there is so much to talk about with the offseason being here. So if you guys just want to stay updated with the NFL, movies, music, whatever's going around the world, we will report it. Anyways, the Houston Rockets. And this report right here, it says the Houston Rockets could target Kevin Durant and Jimmy Butler per Draft Express. The Rockets are clearly in win-now mode and would love to add a star power to their roster for players such as Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butler, Mikhail Bridges, and Brandon Ingram, as well as role players including Brooke Lopez and Marcus Smart. Now, how do I feel about this? I don't think it's smart for the Houston Rockets to go win-now. And the reason why I say that is because, just look, right? Last year, they were 41 and 41 correct now this is the 2022-2023 season i don't think Ime was hired then they were 22 and 60. after that the season that just passed by obviously they were 41 and 41 as y'all see right here it was down the wire it was getting close with the golden state warriors and the houston rockets and then obviously the warriors more of a veteran team closed it out and that's why they made it to the playing tournament but one season in um you know they hired Ime april 25th 2023 so it's literally one season in with Ime, and this team's almost a playing team why are you gonna blow this team up already to go win now i think it takes time it, it takes time and there's more articles um involving it literally says it right here nba trade rumors rivals say rockets i durant butler ingram and stars why like why are they doing look it says they're in win now mode hoping to add an all-star to the roster players are continue to keep brought up like i said before um but obviously it says the nets have expressed interest no interest in trading bridges there's no point in doing this, guys. And if you're a Houston Rockets fan, I'm sure you agree with me. When you look at this Houston Rockets team, they're pretty solid. And they're only going to get better. So I believe they have the number three pick in this year's draft. Just keep it. Get another shooter on this team. Because look, you got Fred Van Vliet, Dalen Brooks, Steven Adams, Jalen Green. They don't really have much shooting on the roster. So they need to address that right away. You hope for Amin Thompson to take another leap, right? You hope for Jabari Smith to take another leap. Jalen Green, just to, his IQ needs to be better. And then you got a lot of these young players like Cam Whitmore, Jay Sean Tate, you got Sagoon. This team will be perfectly fine if you keep letting them develop and playing together. If you go out there and trade for a superstar player, a player like Kevin Durant, which doesn't really have much time left in his career, you're still probably not going to win an NBA championship. Like, it's just not going to really get it done. And then you sacrifice a, a third pick and then probably some of your young players because there's no way a team's going to be like, okay, we'll give you my star player and not get no young player in return. They're going to want that. So there's no point of really trading your young players at this moment. You wait to see what happens next year, right? You got Fred Van Lee to 2026. You got the veteran players. And Van Lee, Brooke, Steven Adams will be playing. That's a huge addition. Um, and then also you got players that's coming back like Jeff Green. So you got the veteran players. Yes, I think you can improve the roster and add like more good depth around them so they could be a playing team. But trading for an all-star player just doesn't make sense just yet. So that's kind of my opinion on it. Like I said, 41 and 41 for your first year with the Rockets. I think that's pretty, pretty impressive coming from the fact that they were 27 and 60 last year. All these players are going to take leaps. The third overall pick, whoever you take is Reed Shepard. This team will be fine. A player that you could possibly look at that could fit the timeline is Brandon Ingram. But some people are not really big a fan of Brandon Ingram. And to be honest with you guys, I don't think Brandon Ingram really gets you over the hump. So... That's just my opinion. Once again, let us know in the comment sections, what would you do if you're the Houston Rockets? Do you trade for a superstar player this soon? Or do you just wait it out, wait another season, see how far you can go, and then the season after, 
depending how far you went that last year, then you go all in. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Heat content. Well, NBA content. Sorry. Peace.